Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. What character should I use this time? You know what, let's use... Hmm... Let's use Kane. It's been a while, I mean, I thought about using Maggie, but then I had, like, basically nom flashbacks to that Maggie run that I had where it was fucking awful because all we got were, like, speed down pills. I think that was Maggie anyway. I hope it wasn't Eve, because speed down in combination with damage down, or just, you know, starting low damage, poor base damage would be horrible. Anyway, let's murder these guys. This is not going to be a speed run, this is just going to be a regular run. So, you know, with my luck, I'll probably end up beating the game in, like, 25 minutes. Hey, look at that, we got Mr. Mega right off the bat, which gives us five bombs. That's actually awesome, because there was a tinted rock in this room that I wanted to get my hands on. So we'll pick up both of those, t uh, almost a tinted hearts. Video, like, 120, still making mistakes with, like, basic nomenclature in the game. Picked up another two cents as well. That was probably not worth the bomb that we spent to get it, but oh well. You, know, you never know what's in those chests. It's a grab bag. Sometimes you get extra bombs and keys. Sometimes you get two cents, which is actually a pretty poor trade for a bomb. Found the boss room already, but you know, no reason to go in there right away. Might as well clear out these other rooms, see if I can pick up some kind of bonus like a tarot card. Maybe a pill that gives me some kind of HP upgrade, or... Ooh, that's, uh, that's tempting. I mean, that could be a horrible tarot card. It could be an awesome one. And this could be a great pill or a terrible one. Health up. That's a great pill. You know what? I'm feeling uh, like Kane's Luckfoot is going to give us a better advantage here, so let's go through and pick up this tarot card. The tower, that's not so good, but it might allow us to take out this boss, uh, you know, more quickly than usual. And probably take some damage ourselves. Hmm, famine, huh? We will use the tower, just try to stay the hell away from all these bombs. Hey, you know, that's like at like 50% of its health. Or not 50%, like 30% of its health. I know some of you are probably thinking, man, Northern Lion's terrible at fractions. That's not true. I'm probably around the national average in terms of fractions. I'm in the top 1 over 2%. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> I'm in the top 1 over 2 proportion. I went to school, I promise. Okay, we'll take out Famine here. I'm not doing my standard, like, triangle strafing, but that's okay. We're going to pick up our meat upgrade, which should give us a little bit of added defense. I haven't taken too much damage on this floor, which is nice. I dropped a spirit heart, actually, instead of a regular heart, which is actually good. Because, uh, you know, the regular red hearts are much more common. So getting a spirit heart, which is more uncommon, is not necessarily a bad thing. Let's make sure we take out this gish, and hopefully we'll get some actual heart drops. Because after getting that HP upgrade, we have actually not actually filled our health. And if I say actually one more time, I think I'm going to have to watch Love Actually, because that's actually my favorite movie. And it's probably actually Liam Neeson's best movie. Next to that one where he, uh, you know, his daughter gets kidnapped and he's trying to save her. I think it's called Schindler's List. Actually, it's probably Taken. Now, as we move on to this room, we get a little grab bag of enemies. We got our bodiless heads. We got our meat boy wannabes. And we got our headless bodies. Let me murder these guys. And then, we have the boss room. And I'm going to take some stupid damage. But what else is new, right? Well, I wasn't going to open that. Or blow open that chest area. Blow open that chest area. Uh, but I was, I did do that eventually because there was the uh, actual... I almost said actually again. What am I even talking about anymore? There was a chest in there. This should be the secret room. Thank God, because that was my last bomb. And we got three cents, which is actually a pretty poor return on investment. But on the bright side, we will be running into the item room coming coming across shortly. Coming across... What is wrong with my linguistics today? My diction is poor. Oh, this game can suck my diction. See, whenever you're having problems speaking, just resort to potty humor, and it works every single time. Now, we'll go for this hopper. That was actually kind of tough. Got another sense and another tarot card. The devil's actually really good. That's gonna give us a ooh, teleport. That's gonna give us a great chance against this boss, even though we're probably not gonna die against her regardless. Hey, we teleported directly to the boss, Larry Jr. Blue Larry Jr., which means he's gonna drop a spirit heart. So let's just use our devil card. Should be able to take him out pretty effectively. Blue Larry Jr. also seems slower, which is you know pretty bad for him. He really has nothing going for him over regular Larry Jr. He's slower, he's bigger, and he's easier to hit. And he also drops something that aids the player. So we will get a speed upgrade here, and I'll have the opportunity to trade with the devil, maybe pick up something great right off the bat. I, 
okay, we'll get the common cold. And I don't, I don't like it necessarily, but we'll get it. And because I'm trying to be a little bit more thorough in this video, we will come down here and actually explore all of the rooms. I probably won't get the 15 cents. I need to make the shop a guaranteed worthwhile experience right here. But I might be able to recharge my teleport, and you know, that means an extra shot at the I Am Arrow room, which means we could pick up some extra pills or even, uh, you know, another suite of items. Anyway, let's take this guy out. Might as well use teleport again. Took us to an area where we're going to have to backtrack. The more and more I play Isaac, I realize that many times I've stated that getting damage ups is the central key to success, and I still agree with that. I still believe that. But, uh, I've noticed that speed is important as well. Speed is probably the most important defensive attribute that you can have, as long as you're good enough at the game and, you know, experienced enough, know the patterns of the enemies so you can actually dodge them. Having low speed can be a fucking death sentence, as you've seen in a couple of recent videos. To nine cents, I'm not gonna waste that key yet. Um... But having high speed is not necessarily going to win you the game, but it can keep you from losing the game for yourself. Sadly, it does not look like we're going to get enough for another teleport on this floor, but we'll have one early on the next floor, which is fine too. Wow, okay, two pills. Balls of steel, that's great. Two more spirit arts, and... Retarded pills. Remember with Kane? Oh, we do have another teleport. Oh well, it took us closer to the boss anyway. Uh, remember with Kane, we do have the luck foot, which means we only get not bad pills and the reason I didn't say good pills is because we can still get pills that are neutral like we can get to the pills that turn me retarded or we can get the pills that oh, uh, change our bombs and keys and those aren't always neutral but anyway you leapers on the caves part one I was wondering why I was taking damage wasn't even paying attention I was trying to focus on my my commentary there give me a second here game now these blind silkworms shouldn't be too much of a problem Main priority right now is definitely going to be uh, to get something that give, deals a little bit more damage, because quite clearly I'm struggling against these guys, whereas I should be able to take them out much more quickly. But we're still very early in the game, and I'm not feeling too bad about our progress so far. Definitely get that money. Teleport again. Wow, directly to the boss. That sucks. But, as long as I dodge well against Gertie, I am going to use Mr. Boom. If it was just a normal bomb, I probably wouldn't, but because it's Mr. Boom and it's going to take out so much of her health, I will. This is going to be a long fight, though. It's one of those situations where teleport is actually really poorly used. Or they kind of screwed us on that one, let's put it that way. It's going to be a long fight, but as long as we pay attention, we should be able to... Oh, I think Cuba Meat might have saved me there. Should be able to do okay there. Honestly, dodging these shots from Gertie is surprisingly difficult. I know it might look easy, and I've probably fought Gertie like 50 times by now. But still, it's not as easy as it looks. We are going to get through this alright, though. Hopefully, we won't end up losing four and a half spirit hearts over the remainder of the fight. Gertie's nearly dead. Probably a couple more dodges. Thank God there was some slowdown there. Gertie's dead. Dropped a half a heart. That's kind of kind of stingy, considering. Got some frame rate issues, but, you know, it is the Binding of Isaac. What else is new? Should I take this down? Pick up... Oh, I can't even pick that up, because I've just been losing spirit hearts. Of course. Is a champion nub. Is this an HP upgrade? And now to explore the rest of the floor. Knowing that we will, you know, likely succeed unless we run into some of the worst Caves Part 1 rooms of all time. And again, I can't believe I didn't get a deal with the devil there. Would have loved to have picked up a brimstone or a mom's knife, but... Can't always get what you want, I suppose. Two champion blind silkworms. This looks like we're getting a little bit of the yin and a little bit of the yang. So we got the tough leaper room, well, tough for the Caves Part 1 anyway. And then we got really easy blind silkworm rooms. Why not teleport again? Alright, turret room. I was really hoping the poison damage would actually take them all out. Or take out one of them there. Okay, let's we'll chill out here for a second. There we go, we got one. Get these guys to pop up at the same time. Like a video on VH1. Got one more poison guy. There we go. Sadly cannot get to that. You know, I will check out the shop. Guardian Angel and the ladder. If I get two more cents. What would I... I would probably prefer Guardian Angel at this point. Oh, well, <laughs> they forced me to put my money where my mouth is. You know what? I'm actually going to go with the ladder. Uh, because the ladder is going to allow me to get that bomb, and I realize that's like a 15 cents for 5 cents trade, but obviously we'll find better uses for the ladder a little bit later. So pick up that bomb, which could allow us to find the secret room and possibly even get our money back if we were incredibly lucky. And of course, if something drops over here, now we can actually pick it up. Guardian Angel would have been great for defense, but I feel like I'm doing fairly well for health right now. There we go, we got a tarot card over here. Two more spirit arts. Fantastic. Teleport again, really hoping to find the uh, I Am Arrow room. It's, oh, 
really poor hit on my part. Really hoping to find the I am I am error room at some point because if we do do that, it doesn't guarantee a victory, but it does give us some items. Like normally, I am error room will have either like five pills in it or two or three regular items. I can't believe I took another hit on that hopper. Still can't even pick up that health because I don't need it. So I suppose there are worse things. Doing very well on money so far. Mr. Boom, I don't want that. Rather stick with teleport just because, you know, it, does, it doesn't have much risk except for the times that it does bring you to the, the boss room when you're unprepared, like it just did. Uh, but it has a lot of reward if we could actually get to that IMA room. It wouldn't necessarily, again, be game-breaking for us, but it would be good. Let's put it that way. Mr. Boom is just going to serve as a bomb, basically. And I mean, there are good things and bad things about that. The obvious good thing is I'm pretty low on bombs right now, so that would really help me out. On the other hand, you know, it takes up a valuable spacebar item slot. Tarot card here is Emperor takes us directly to the boss. I uh, might honestly use that on this floor just to get back to the boss room as quickly as possible. And this teleported us to the last room that we need to go to. Emperor is a great tarot card, but it's only a great tarot card in certain situations. Like, for example, uh, if you're in the womb and you don't want to explore the entirety of a floor, then the Emperor is fantastic. Oh god, I can't seem to hit any of these guys. Just eliminate one, and then the whole system comes crumbling down. There we go. See? What did I tell you? So we'll use the Emperor just to save me some backtracking. I mean, that's not pro-level play there, but still. What do we have in here? Uh, HP upgrade, absolutely gonna take that for a Caves Part 2 uh, gauntlets. Shouldn't be too bad in the whole scheme of things. And after this, we will get another uh, charge on our teleport. And that was a really poor dodge on my behalf. Never should have gotten hit there. What are we running into here? Alright, let's ooze guys. I think I've pretty much got these guys sussed out. I mean, I'm oftentimes still impressed with their AI and the fact that they can seemingly flank and like coordinate a, an attack to make sure that you have as little chance of escaping as possible, but I think I've kind of got their formula figured out. I couldn't articulate it, but certainly somewhere in my brain there is a file that says like, Alright, let's ooze guys, here's how you dodge. Eyeless Ooze Guys, Here's How You Dodge sounds like a terrible, like, self-defense martial arts book. Here's How You Dodge, All right. by Eyeless Ooze Guys. It's like some just fat, Greek, hairy piece of shit, like Kenny Powers. Who is, like, neither Greek nor... Well, I guess he's a little bit hairy. Make sure to take out these guys. Oh, oh and of course, after saying that I have that formula figured out, of course, the game is quickly there to serve me a slice of humble pie sense here in the next room okay we do have the item room this is a bad spot to be in uh, champion gish almost out of spirit hearts that was a terrible play by me right there they're dropping lots of hearts but I don't need hearts I need spirit hearts luckily I do have enough keys we'll check this out terrible item anarchist cookbooks teleport Alright, bomb flies. Now, if I'm lucky, I can get out of this without having to use one of my actual bombs to blow up that tinted rock there. But I'm just trying to focus on not taking damage right now. That would have been a good opportunity for, like, a chain explosion there. Maybe here. Oh, God. Oh, get out of there! <laughs> there we go. And it's just a chest. Fantastic. I will probably not be visiting the arcade because I do want to uh, save my money because I'll probably be able to go to the shop a little bit later. This should be like one more hit on this bomb fly. If I get more keys, I would love to, to open that chest, but as of right now, not that interested. There's another bomb, fantastic, so we actually turned a profit there. Would love to come back and say hello to Judgment. There's a lot of things on this floor that want my money. And I'd be happy to give it to him. This is like fighting Satan right here. A miniature version, of course, because there's a lot less hit points. But, the good thing about both of these turrets is that they're both uh, the red-style turrets, so we can shoot them. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord! I'm out, I'm out of spirit arts. I didn't expect that to happen right now. Okay, we do have teleport ready. More keys and bombs. You know what? Let's crack open this chest. Kane's a lucky guy, maybe we'll get something good. Tarot card. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, not, probably not great, but we'll see. 
I have two Eyeless Ooze guys right before the boss room. Not too much of a challenge. Again, we will get another teleport, though, so we won't fight the boss right away. We'll get another teleport in the room adjacent to this, I should say. Come on through here. Oh, no, we won't. Uh, but we will get a key and whatever's in this tinted rock. Oh, which is going to be a damage up. That's fantastic. And another key as well. We use our ladder to get to this one. I pretty much expected that was how that was going to go down. Room full of bomb flies. Got to be very careful here, especially with my newfound damage upgrade. Should be taking these guys out more quickly than usual. Almost walked over the spikes there. That's a Northern Lion trademark. And only two left. Okay. Only one left. That should do it right there. Do have another pill, which I will use right away. Telepills, fantastic. Uh, that did cost us our... What was I going to say? Our other tarot card, which I've forgotten what it was now. Oh, there's Balls of Steel pill, that's fantastic. Two more spirit hearts. Uh, and in through here, I'm just going to pick up this pill again, or this tarot card again, because it is a slot machine. You never know, that might come in handy at some point. And we'll use teleport again. Moves us to a room that I wanted to go to anyway, to be honest with you. Now that we're doing a little bit more damage, things are looking on the bright side. Did pick up some spirit hearts in the course of that little exchange that happened right there as well. That's why I love Kane, is that you never have to worry about, you know, what kind of pills you're going to get. Unless you have like 50 keys and no bombs, or actually 50 bombs and no keys would be worse. We'll make our way over here. We should have like three more rooms probably to go through. There's one. Okay. Should take out these Meat Boy wannabes. There will be six cents for us for the taking, which means the shop is going to be certainly viable. And there it is right there. Before I go to the... the, the, the I was thinking maybe Greed would be in there. <laughs> I don't know what sound I was making right there. Um, let's get the map. I forget what this pill is. I think it's Balls of Steel. Oh, Telepills. Well, why not? All right, it's just going to take us to this room. Then we'll be able to teleport again. Uh, thought I could get out of there. Uh, and then we'll go back, obviously, and go for that Wheel of Fortune pill. Alright, so now we got a little bit of backtracking, and then we'll just go directly to the boss. Do not pass go, do not collect these one and a half regular hearts, because I can't use them, which is actually kind of a good thing. It shows that I've been doing alright in terms of health so far. Uh, now the map is going to be decent, mostly because it's just going to tell us where the secret room is. So over the course of the next two floors, it probably won't pay for itself, but we could pick up like a 1-Up or a Unicorn Horn or something. I'd probably be in the market to get rid of my teleport very shortly. Uh, it's a damn shame that it hasn't given me the I Am Arrow room. I seem to have pretty poor luck with that, but that's okay. Could blow up Judgment. Could, uh, actually I can't go to the arcade because I have literally no money. Who are we dealing with here? Okay, we're going to get our next Meat Boy upgrade, which is awesome going to serve as basically like a, a defensive brother Bobby. Pestilence and the whole scheme of things isn't so bad. Let's kick a bomb at him, actually. That's what I was pretty much hoping for. That's kind of like an intermediate level uh, Isaac skill that is really important. It's like throwing a bomb down right next to you and then kicking it at the enemy. I mean, it's oftentimes not essential for winning a run, but it can help you out a little bit. It can save you some health. can't believe I haven't had a deal with the devil yet. I guess I have been taking a lot of damage. Let's go down to the next floor then. Depths part one. Uh, probably looking at running into greed here. I would be very surprised if we didn't. Now, I would love to take out these nubs right off the bat. Good, we did get to it. Poison damage again, largely useless, but I, it, it's like a placebo effect for me. Sometimes I feel like it does a good job. Teleport's ready. Uh, just looking at this room, I can tell we're going to have a lot of teleports. And I hate both of these guys, but managed to get out of that first guy. Okay. Douchebag 1 dead, douchebag 2 on life support, and apparently unhittable, dude's made out of Teflon. Ah, a miniature blast assist. Basically these are just Meat Boy wannabes. Glorified Meat Boy wannabes. And, well, there we go, one's dead, and how about this one? Dying. Another teleport ready? Oh, what did I tell you? Of course we're going to run into greed here. Now, I can't just leave the room, i got to finish him off. So we're going to be a little bit cautious. Never uh, never run into him that much because he's going to make that shot at you. Hoppers are not a problem, though. Uh, that went really well. Picked up a little bit of money, which I will probably directly invest in Judgment next time I see him. Uh, there is our secret room as well, you can see on the map. While we're here, we might as well go to the item room. 
uh, and the secret room. Definitely wor still worth our bomb uh, to get there. I managed to kill one of the zombies with poison damage there, I think, which, you know, it's kind of one of those oh, rare examples where maybe getting the common cold is actually worthwhile. Another key. Our item is slow down, which is still pretty bad, honestly. Uh, I'm not sure if we can blow up that door, to be honest with you, so we will go to one more room. Take out these guts, then go to the secret room, then use teleport. Now, the good thing about fighting greed, and actually we didn't do very poorly against greed there, is that we will, obviously, be able to uh, probably go to the shop on the next floor. Unicorn horn. Ah, uh, but it's... I got the teleport on this floor still. Uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come back for it, I think. This is a shitty room. Uh, hoping to take out the leapers right away. But actually, the zombie might be easier. Okay. Really shouldn't have taken damage there. I knew exactly what was coming. Oh, well, we did get that one. Okay, we, you know, taking half a heart of damage on a room like that isn't so bad. Continue exploring this way. I'll probably come back for the unicorn... There's the boss. Wow. Probably come back for the unicorn horn uh, right before we go to the boss if teleport doesn't actually pay out on this floor. Of course, if teleport does actually take us to the I am arrow room, we're stuck with it because we have to immediately go down to the next floor. Unless I had like a teleport, got to the I am arrow room, and then got like a telepills or something. And I guess I could leave then. Picked up a spirit art on this room, which is good because I've been kind of losing them for a while now. Only one left. Why, oh why, didn't I take the blue pill? Oh, range up. Yeah, why didn't you take the blue pill? That's not bad. We will teleport again. One room away from us. <laughs> Not necessarily, uh, you know, the best use of a teleport, but it's random. I got no control over it. You guys should die very quickly. Again, not so much a speed run here, but can't complain about how it's going so far. We're kind of low on damage, which is poor at this juncture of the game. Again, douchebag floor. Definitely not going to get the Dark Boy on this run because I've taken about you know eight hearts worth of damage on this floor already. Apparently, cannot get to the Devil because I continue playing poorly. What about this one? We got tons of pills here. Bombs are key. That literally changed nothing. Move us one room away again on the teleport. Ah, uh, let's. I, I, I might save my money at this point because we've already fought greed. We might get to go to the shop on the next floor. Judgment's not necessarily rare either, so I don't feel bad. We'll probably run into him. We could even run into Judgment in the, in the womb. Okay, now we'll take out Nubs one by one. Probably the only time I've ever said that, or anyone's ever heard that, when it wasn't like a Call of Duty gameplay commentary. Yeah, poison damage might be enough to take out that brain. It actually did. This one dead. Maybe another bomb. Excellent. And... Secret room. Oh, no, it's Gauntlet. Ooh, speed and range. I'll take that. Uh, this room might be a little bit tougher, but, you know, largely, even if I lost a couple hearts on this floor, which uh, apparently I'm going to, oh my god, the fetuses have cost me a heart and a half already. But that's okay, because we're in replenish hearts zone, we're not in spirit hearts anymore, so these are actually less valuable, because, you know, there's a ton of hearts already scattered around. Whoa. This guy tried to get up behind me. That's not cool. Back off, get your own sandwich. Now... These guys dying. I think we have uh, turrets now. Uh, zombies. That's not great either. But the cool thing about zombies is that I think you can actually poison. Oh, I think you can actually poison them from the front. So if you hit them and there's a little bit of like poison splash damage, almost as if you threw like chemical waste in their face. Yeah, we got a set for their troubles there, but also speed and range, so that's fine. Now after doing this room, which shouldn't be horrible, but you know, stranger things have happened. Oh. <laughs> we'll teleport again. Actually, you know what? We're going to go back and get some health first. Because I don't want to use teleport and then end up fighting the boss directly, which would suck dick. Come down here, pick up half a heart here. Come down here. Sorry, Judgment. Uh, when I see you, there you are. I'm probably not going to give you any money because I want to save this money for the next floor. Another half heart here. We'll teleport. Okay, it took us right back where we started. Well, I would say... We should probably go for our unicorn horn now. Sorry, Teleport, you did a pretty piss-poor job for us this game. I understand that it's not necessarily your fault, but... Uh, you know what, to save me some time, I will waste a bomb and bomb my way into the boss room. Uh, no, I won't, because that's impossible. 
So we'll make our way back. Unicorn Horn should make relatively quick work of whatever boss we're fighting here. I guess... What would I even be hoping for at this point? I'd be hoping mainly for a deal with the devil at the end. I would rather have two hearts and a brimstone than four hearts and no brimstone at this point. It's pretty much our greatest chance at success, I would say. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Monster 2. Immediately unicorn the horn, the unicorn horn the shit out of him. He's making too many jumps, which, which sucks, but it's okay because I'm gonna take dumb damage anyway. Okay, now we're, we can actually focus on the fight. We took out about half his health like that. Now we're gonna get him to laser. We're gonna get him to laser, thank you. And then laser again. And then laser again. And then laser again. And then laser again. Oh, this is a, it's really like a zen boss fight here. Keep pushing him up against the wall. Make him do his laser. This will be the end of him. Alright, we got the band-aid, which is actually also a pretty good item to pick up because it gives us a lot of health. And then down to the next floor with our unicorn horn and honestly not much else going for us. Make our way into here. We don't even have teleport anymore, so like it's not like every second room we're going to get some kind of you know, gambling chance to succeed. And now we just got to do it on our own merit, so... You know, that's not always the, my greatest strength, but we'll see. I've had good runs and bad runs in the Binding of Isaac, and this one so far falls somewhere in the middle. Put a bomb here, go to the secret room. Noose, that's awesome, actually. I mean, we already have the ladder, but this is going to allow us just a little bit more maneuverability and probably a little bit more defense. For example, watch this. How are they going to hit me? You can't hit me. I'm unstoppable. Cross the plane! guy's dead already, which will give us almost full health. Another bomb. We'll work, work our way up here to the top left. Definitely want to visit the item room on this floor. Probably want to visit the shop. I'd be pretty pissed if I ran into greed, but it's unlikely at this point because I've already faced him. Not that he won't show up again, but if he does show up again, it'll probably be in like a really shitty room on the womb where it's like a greed and six headless horsemen. A couple of fetuses, but again... Just being able to fly is a huge advantage here, even though I already took some damage. Oh, these guys aren't even shooting at me, which is a nice change of pace. Oh, that guy decided. How dare he say I changed his pace? I'm a strict non-interventionist when it comes to walking speeds. And another blue pill, which I think is telepills. Range up. Okay, that's fine too. We are still holding this Wheel of Fortune card. Which, you know, will eventually get some use, maybe? Once I don't have anything better to spend my money on. Oh, that was rough. Okay. Got a bomb. Unicorn horn. This is not a unicorn horn worthy room. I considered using it, but it's not. We'll just open up this chest while we're waiting for the brain guy to come down here. Another cents. Very near to 15 cents. Lemon mishap. Terrible item. Game's trolling the shit out of me right now. Now, we've done a lot of exploring here. But we still have not found the shop or the boss room, so let's make our way down to the bottom. Arcade wouldn't necessarily be bad at this point either. Might be able to make good use of an arcade. Again, it depends. If there's something shitty in the shop, like a greed, for example, maybe we could, uh, you know, spend our money at the arcade. Pick up some keys, pick up some extra defense in the form of a pretty fly. Who knows? Gonna take out these nubs. I hate the shooting turrets. Some of my least favorite enemies, to be honest with you. Blood Bank. Okay, that's going to cost us Spirit Hearts, which I have no interest in losing right now. We'll pick up that to give us full regular hearts. Uh, you know what? Why not? Range up. I'll take it. For a key, that's a fair trade. Seemingly. This is a really easy room and you can fly. And again, nothing down here except uh, me and my monkey. And by that I mean me and my gluttony. So when he dies, he will give us some health, which is good because I just lost some. Oh, go back. Okay, we got that spirit heart. Doing very well on health right now. But you never know what we could run into when we go into that mom boss fight. Sometimes I do very well, sometimes I do exceptionally poorly. Let's we'll make our way up here. We've cleared out pretty much all of the danger. Now, I probably should not use my unicorn horn before this mom boss fight because... Uh, we may not have enough rooms, and in fact, just doing the math here very quickly, while also trying to dodge all these things, I don't think we have enough rooms to fully recharge it, because we are going to run into the shop, potentially an arcade, and you know, you always run the risk of running into a room with nothing in it, which is normally a great thing, except for the fact that it means you can't charge your spacebar item. So this thing dying, yeah, 
Oh, uh, we should have probably gone... Yeah, see, there's a room with nothing in it. Definitely not going to have enough to recharge. Check this out. Another few cents. That's going to give me enough to make use of the shop. And in the shop, we find... Book of Revelations. Ooh, this is a tough call. I'm going to take Book of Revelations. Uh, and then... Yeah, I will continue onwards here. That was, a, that was a really tough call, and I'm having trouble explaining my reasoning for that. But basically, uh, I think I'm going to need some extra survivability. Unicorn Horn is going to give me like 30% extra damage on this fight, and on like one in every six rooms, which is not a whole lot in the whole scheme of things. So, well, we're going to try doing this the old-fashioned way. No Brimstone, no Mom's Knife. Just Book of Revelations and, like, the one damage up I've gotten over the course of the video. I'm taking a lot of damage on this fight already. The screen is chock full of assholes right now. But Mom's about 50% dead. Remember when beating Mom felt like an accomplishment? Like, I felt like I was really good at this game? No longer. <laughs> Even taking damage against Mom feels like I have, I've made a fail of some sort. We'll make sure to take out this guy up here. Oh, wow. Stomped on its own eye. Got me another ranged upgrade. This really is an old-fashioned, you know, Binding of Isaac run. No deals with the devil. Almost all range upgrades. Book of Revelations. Flying is nice, though. That's a nice modern touch. I want to get that scent without accidentally popping that key. Whoa, okay. I have to be a little cautious here. There we go. Secret room will hopefully contain, like, a one-up or something. Uh, okay, fuck you, Greed. See you later. <laughs> I don't have to fight you. My mom says I can just run away. Yeah, oh, well, took some dumb damage there. Well, not dumb damage, just kind of not smart damage. <laughs> I can just fly in, grab whatever this is. Bomb. Fly the fuck out. Larry Jr., stop blocking the door. That was not a good use of my resources there. But still, it proves that you can indeed just fly in and fly out. This is a very bad room for me to be in. All these crisscrossing paths. Really should have just planted a bomb in the center to get rid of that laser. But, you know, hindsight's 20-20, even if it's only 20 seconds ago. Okay, lots of vaginal bomb flies here. I'm taking a staggering amount of damage for the womb part one. Remember that time I got through the womb part one and two without taking any damage? Those days are long behind me. Hey, the secret room! Let's go check out what's in there! Haha, <laughs> no. Because it's greed. Uh, okay, Fetus is gonna die. We'll take one out right off the bat. Get the heck out of the way of that other one. As long as we stay relatively safe in this area down here, we should be alright. Obviously not gonna explore every single room down here because I wanna just finish the womb as fast as possible. Take as little damage as possible. How long has it been since I had a run that ended before we got to the womb? It feels like a hundred years. Maybe we'll run into the boss room in the top right here. Ah, no, no luck. But we do have Judgment, who might give us something good. An HP upgrade, maybe. Steam sale, that's actually pretty piss poor at this point in the game. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be right off the top there, but I'd be surprised if we got that lucky. Got a couple of Eyeless Ooze guys and some Gluttonies in here. Pretty easy room, all things considered. Tons of keys now, but not really the most useful time to get them. Also not the boss room. Let's just plant a bomb here and let these diglets work themselves out. There we go. We only got three left to deal with now. These diglets are the some of the worst enemies in the game. I'm not going to say the worst, obviously, but some of the worst. Luckily, we are picking up a lot of bombs as well, which is going to be useful. Uh, let's, let's try to just toss one in on these cysts and see if maybe I get lucky. Or exceptionally unlucky. You know what? Let's just bypass this room. We know the boss has to be over here. Alright. These are real blast assists, which surprises me because... Well, I guess it shouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Gotta be careful about these shots. Okay, now we got Meat Boy wannabes, basically. One's dead. Second's dead. Meat Boy, I think, saved me from taking some stupid damage there. Make sure these guys split. Now we got two Meat Boy wannabes. No problems. One Meat Boy wannabe, zero Meat Boy wannabes. Okay, we did pick up a bomb there as well. I was thinking about skipping that room. I'm glad I didn't because we ended up coming out of that relatively unharmed. 
in our chest here. We got three cents and a bomb. Cents are probably worthless. Again, I'm just gonna bomb my way out of this room. This will save me some time, really. I could end up taking stupid damage against... Oh, lord. I can't bomb my way out of this room because obviously the boss is right there. But what I can do is focus very intently and try not to take any damage. Very intently? What does T that have to do with this? Okay. There we go. Only the vaginal bomb flies left. Perfect. That worked out really well. We did get our Book of Revelations as well. And we're going to be fighting death, which is normally, you know, kind of an asshole fight, but because I can fly, it gives me a little bit of extra maneuverability, which is not going to mean anything when I take all this damage. Put a bomb and shoot it over to death. That's exactly what I was hoping for right there. Now we're just going to focus on the, the big guy up here, avoiding the horse, if you could call it that. Toss this bomb in there. That did absolutely nothing because the horse knocked it out of the way. Let's try again. There we go. Okay, picked up some extra health, and we've only got a single Isaac Zomb- Oh! How did he- he outsmarted me there. Not too hard, I guess. Uh, deal with the devil? I don't believe it. Um, if we get a brimstone or a mom's knife, maybe we got a shot. If that was Krampus, we were fucked. Two hearts for a pact? I mean, it's risky, but it's all I got. I needed that stats upgrade. We'll make our way to the right here because I think that's where we're going to find the boss. Thank God, that was a really good chest, actually. And also, when you make that deal with the devil... The room scared the shit out of me right there. When you make that deal with the devil, you also get... Uh, man, this is not the place I want to be. It means I have to go back through that room I was just in. Uh, it's like, the hearts that you pay also come back as spirit hearts. So, I mean, we did get a little advantage there. It's not like we just lost those hearts for nothing. Just fly in and fly out here. Cool, poison touch. Gotta be careful that I don't run into something at the door. And obviously, we're just gonna fly away here. Plant another bomb. Get out of there. We probably should be saving these bombs for the boss fight against Mom's Heart. Um, not necessarily using foresight to the best of my abilities here. Let's try to take out uh, ourselves here. Uh, didn't quite get to it, but whoa! Found a Tinted Rock. Lucky me. Should be able to kill Guts without getting involved with our, our doppelganger here. And me boy's just gonna kill him! Thanks a lot, buddy. That was really helpful. Got a key and some money. Making our way down here basically because it's... Uh, oh, I forgot that the vaginal silkworms obviously can fly. Um, so I've lost those spirit hearts already. Including the extra one I got. It's gonna be tight here. Gonna plant a bomb there. Whoa. Didn't expect those guys to pop up where they did. Just more money, which is, you know, sad. Should probably just kill these guys. Oh, me boy. Sorry, I kind of messed up your game there. Bomb. Uh, the reason because I would probably have to backtrack, because I didn't expect this to be the boss room either. Balls of Steel, two more spirit arts. Okay, the game is conspiring to help me, which I appreciate. Let's use the stars card, I just want to see what it does. Oh, it takes us directly to the boss, cool, that's actually kind of exactly what I wanted. Why did I plant that bomb? Because I wasn't thinking, but on the bright side, we do get a laser taken out. Let me start planting bombs over here. Going directly after the hearts. I think we'll be okay during this boss fight. But you know, stranger things have happened, this monster shouldn't stand a chance. Make sure to poison mom's heart, I'm not sure if that does extra damage well, it's up, but okay. It's the placebo effect again. Oh, me boy! <laughs> you dumb asshole! Please murder these zombies in retribution. Okay. I'm feeling... Uh, feeling a little bit unconfident against these zombies. I haven't actually yet to fight the zombies this much in a long time. Like, normally I have Brimstone and Mom's Knife by now. Which makes these guys very easy to take out. This should be Duke of Flies. I think I might have pushed that bomb out of the way there, so I'm not going to blame Meat Boy. Those in glass houses should not throw stones or ninja rocks. Uh, Meat Boy, Meat Boy, don't do it! <laughs> yeah, the best part was how he kind of kept kicking it towards me, because he was trying to follow me. He's like, I just, wanted, I just want you to love me, Kane! Make sure to get out of here. We are doing a fair amount of damage, which is nice. Chubb should die here. Chad, whatever his name is. C.H. Battle consonant. 
Okay, we got zombies again. Me boy, this is your domain. This is a longer fight, and the reason I can tell, a longer fight than usual, I should say, the reason I can tell is because normally, by the time Chubb comes out, Mom is continuously firing bombs, and she's still about a bomb away from it right here. Okay, me boy, just stay over there! Okay, thank you. There we go. Never makes things easy on me, does he? I really shouldn't have just sat there while that bomb murdered me, but oh well. Thanks, me boy. That was actually really nice of you. Now we are going to go down to Shoal with, I don't know, 10% chance of success? Maybe, if we're lucky. Make our way to the secret room first, because you never know. Maybe we'll find a one-up or something in there. That was a horrible room. And I took way more damage than I should have there. Okay, there's a Tinted Rock in here. Oh, man. I'm definitely going for that instead of the, uh, the secret room. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I guess I'll go for both then. Me boy, feel free to eat this guy as well. Alright, I'll move him into you if that helps you out. Really hoping to get some spirit hearts out of that chest. Oh my god! <laughs> he will stop at nothing to ruin my day. Okay, tons more bombs. That's awesome, actually. Obviously, we'll fly into here. Skeleton key just in time to be totally fucking useless. Then fly the fuck out and bomb our way out of this room. Can't believe I still took damage there, because I'm a dumb idiot like that. Okay, we'll bomb our way out of this room too. We're basically going to rush our way to Satan. <laughs> Strategy that has almost never worked out. Except for maybe here? <laughs> Insanity is trying the same thing again and again and wondering why it doesn't work. Well, I think we know exactly what I'm doing here then. Well, we got two hits against Satan. No Book of Revelations, three bombs. We made it, though. Okay, we'll plant that bomb. Took out about half of the Fallen's health right off the bat. Fake turning into Krampus. Dude gets me every time with that one. Okay, now we got one hit. And that's not good, because I could easily take one hit against the Fallen. Whoa, make sure to get out of there. Don't get hit by the laser attack. Very high danger right now. Okay. Please, please, just kill one of them. Thank you. Okay, now we're dealing with Satan. Oh god, no, oh, the laser! <laughs> oh well, that was a pretty successful run, all things considered. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.